Hey, what's up guys? Jake here. Before we get into the news, I do want to announce my upcoming sponsor, ironically enough, Upcomer.com. Also, they have their apps on the iPhone and Android. If you never want to miss an eSports match, a great way to have live streams, notifications, as well as any updates for eSports, feel free to download it down below, guys. As always, though, more importantly, Let's get into the news. Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting CSGO news episode. Only going to be two main stories to touch on today, but they'll both be timestamped below. And also, all the evidence I talk about will be mentioned down below as well, so you guys can take a peek yourself at all of the evidence, which does incriminate. It actually does pretty much 100% incriminate Liquid Twist and his girlfriend, Rebecca, apparently for scamming a community member out there and $2,000 worth of skins. So all the evidence will be linked down below, guys. It's pretty self-incriminating here, and it's not to blame Twist for, but his girlfriend is almost certainly guilty in this case. So we're going to be talking about this guy on screen. His name is Repo. I'm in contact with him. We've been talking with him as well. And if you guys have actually noticed on Steam Rep, apparently Rebecca, that is Twist, or we're going to call him Russell, Russell's girlfriend Rebecca, has been apparently banned on Steam Rep or accused of fraudulent activity on Steam Rep. You guys can go there. I'll link it down below and see exactly why. It was actually Repo who reported her for apparently scamming him out of $2,000 in skins. Now, the story does go though. Repo was actually the person who bought out Liquid Twist and his whole entire inventory quite some time ago. What a nice guy. You know, he bought out his entire inventory. They soon became friends after that. Of course, you know, as Twist, a guy who bought out your entire inventory, it's the least you could do to talk to the guy and maybe make a little bit of friendship between the two of you if he just paid you a ridiculous amount of money for all of your skins. So they had a little bit of a friendship going back and forth. Eventually, Repo meets Twist's girlfriend, girlfriend being Rebecca, and uh, down the line, they actually begin to ask for some of those skins back just to play with. Has some play around skins. Many pro players out there need play around skins. When, when you're at a big tournament, it sucks when you have the, the default skins, the professional player. You just look kind of, you know, you look kind of like a rookie. So, of course, they need some play around skins, and Repo is very willing. He has a friendship. He trusts Twist. He's also a pro player. He's not going to scam anybody. So, he first starts out by lending Twist $2,000 back in skins. Then the story goes like this. Of course, Twist sends those skins back. Later down the line, he, he actually asks for more skins and also introduces Repo to his girlfriend, Rebecca, who also wants skins. She And then Repo, of course, asks, Can I trust your girlfriend? Of course, you know, bringing a new per person into the picture, it always seems kind of sketchy. Do I trust this person that's not affiliated really directly to you and really has? no professional background that I can accuse of to get those skins back. So eventually he does lend the skins back to Twist again and also back to Rebecca. The first time around he lends them both a thousand dollars in skins then they eventually give them back and then one final time they ask for more skins. This time though they each ask for two thousand dollars in skins around that average price which is kind of a, a weird at first when you hear that it kind of sounds weird and a little bit fishy the fact that they give skins back and then ask for more skins and again on a continuous cycle it'd be kind of ridiculous. At one point you got to cut it off and say hey these are my skins not yours but he does go through with it after a bit of convincing he gives two thousand dollars in skins back to twist and two thousand dollars in skins back to rebecca and eventually twist sends his skins back but after five days time rebecca has actually blocked repo on all three of her accounts and i've actually unveiled some big chat messages for all of you guys to talk about and rebecca has actually responded to him on on steam on several accounts before blocking him on those accounts as well and we also have convincing evidence and actual certified evidence she has actually sold those skins so it does seem apparently repo had a brother at one point in time call Rebecca a hoe. Now I understand the internet is full of mean people out there, but certainly there is no there's no clarity in the fact that someone calls you a hoe. And it has been confirmed. Repo confirmed with me. They were actually in an ESCA pug match. They're about to join one, and his brother in a Discord chat did call Rebecca a hoe. And that was as you guys can see in the screen messages, screenshots as well of their conversations. That was the reason why she did not give the skins back. And also, really quick self-incriminating evidence, as you guys can see multiple times in the messages, she confirms that she got those skins. She says multiple times, I'm gonna give the skins to people without knives. I'm I'm Gonna, I'm going to keep them for now. I'm not going to give them back. There are several moments where she references herself and the fact that she has the skins and she will not give them back because of Repo's brother calling her a hoe. That's the main reason. Also, though, further incriminate evidence, if you guys want to know where these skins did go, did she actually give the skins to people without knives? No, she sold them on OP skins. You guys can go to those Steam Rep. Actually, I'll link these down below as well. You can see where your skins have traveled. There's always an ID tracking your skins, and you guys can see they go, uh, the two skins he did not get back worth around $2,000 total went from his account to Rebecca's account to, wait, what's that? What's that symbol? Oh, yeah, that's an OP skin symbol. So she sold both those skins off. She did not give them away to people without knives. She didn't keep them. She sold them off. And also, first of all, I guess lastly, for all of you guys who are defending Twist, thinking I'm going after Twist, well, I wasn't beginning in the beginning, but now I certainly am. 
he is also partially responsible here. On top of this, he's also threatened to block Repo as well, and also he cannot get the skins back from his girlfriend Rebecca. He doesn't know what to do, but the thing is this, he still has had high tier skins on his account. As you guys can see messages on, on screen as well, the conversations that Repo had with Twist, he had a high tier skin on his account, and Repo said, can you give me that skin because I gave your girlfriend skins and she stole them, so can I have skins from your inventory to make up from it? And he says, no, those are my skins. It seems there is almost nothing to do in this situation. Please, I just want to open your guys' eyes to this and, and encourage a response from Twist himself. You cannot have your girlfriend scamming people out there. A guy who bought your entire inventory for a large amount of money and now you can't give him the skins back that your girlfriend stole. We need a response on this. Please share the video, guys. Comment down below what do you think about this. All the evidence is on the screen. Both Twist and Rebecca are certainly guilty here. I think Rebecca is obviously more responsible, but we have all the evidence. I, I will keep all the evidence and keep talking to Repo as well, and hopefully this guy does get his skins back. It's just very unfortunate to see the situation. And of course, yes, Russell is off of the major right now. He's very busy, but I do expect a response when he does get back. And also, very last in today's episode of CSK News, I do want to touch very briefly on Valve's attack on Gam Gamblers. I can clarify though from some sources out there, it's not a huge attack on gamblers, only that some of the websites out there had some owners and their accounts actually get banned or trade banned currently. Some of those accounts have been unbanned as a Phantom Lord. A Phantom Lord did tweet out a few things saying he was trade banned. I don't think that's correct though. If you guys go to his trade link, you can still trade him. So I'm pretty sure Phantom Lord was a false accusation. There was no trade ban there given out to him. Although Arrow actually had a Steam account banned, but that's because of his ties to EasySkins.com. So uh, not really ownership, but there's his ties to there. So some uh, YouTubers out there, very very, very few YouTubers, but mainly owners and co-owners out there of big uh, CSGO gambling sites out there have been trade banned for now. Of course, that's due to a lot of suspicious activity. If you have an account that's going having been being sent or being sending out so many skins every single day, that's going to trigger a lot of warnings out there. So it does seem it's not actually an official attack on gambling sites, only a partial one. We'll see how it develops in the future, though. As of right now, no one's really much affected. We also have Arrow returning with another Steam account as well, so nothing really stopping that, guys. So as of right now, I don't think it's a full attack on gambling. It really, I don't think it's going to die. Or go anywhere anytime soon, uh, regulation wise. But it was this past weekend where several accounts did get banned. So, hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode of CSK News. If you guys did, please leave a like or more importantly, a comment down below. I'm really sorry about yesterday's episode. Apparently, covering yourself in your own blood is just a really gross tactic, and I, I do agree. I, it was just, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys can forgive me. As always, I'll see you guys in a couple days with some more CSK News. And uh, my name is Jake Mariah, like you. Goodbye, guys. What's already happening? Are you kidding me? He's gonna go for it.